Hey there, good morning. Here in Timisoara, leaving my apartment where I was staying is right up there. I am going to get a rental car right now. I need to catch a taxi. I wanted to start this video here in front of this building, the parishioners of the parish gathered on December 15th, 1989 to oppose the evacuation of Pastor Laszlo Tokas. And a day later, on December 16th, the revolution in Timisoara started, which led finally to the removal of the communist dictatorship from Romania, Ceausescu. The dictator of Romania, until his death, at the hands of the people. Just one week later, after the uh, protest started here, because of, I don't know the uh, exact uh, story there, but a religious figure who was being taken away, maybe for protests against the government anyways, uh, that began the downfall of communism here and of course during that same time frame all throughout Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union communism fell to pieces and this area moved into a whole different uh, form of government for the most part uh, for the better so Taxi time up ahead is uh, the uh, center of the city, but I have to get out to some car park where uh, I will meet the guys to pick up the rental car. It might be, oops, that's what I need. It might be by the airport. Anyways, it's like eight kilometers away. I am crunched for time. I'm supposed to meet them in like 20 minutes. So uh, let's figure this out. There is the Orthodox Cathedral that I showed at the beginning of my last video, the tour of the city. I'm now waiting for an Uber one minute away. And we are cruising. So, uh, rental car is 40 euros or 45 dollars US per day, including everything. I have it for four days. I am staying in the Romanian city of Sibiu for the next uh, three nights. I have a hotel there already reserved. It is about two and a half or so hours away, but I am making a stop. I will probably be making various stops, but uh, first stop of the day, Corvin's Castle, about two hours away from here. So uh, the Romanian road trip begins now. So that is the brand of the car, Dacia Automobile Dacia, commonly known as Dacia is a Romanian car manufacturer that takes its name from the historical region that constitutes present-day Romania. So let's uh, go there. Dacia was a land inhabited by the Dacians. Its core in Transylvania. Transylvania is a region of Romania stretching to the Danube in the south, the Black Sea in the east, and the Tisza in the west. The Carpathian Mountains were located in the middle of Dacia. So I think that is where I'm headed, the uh, Carpathian mountains. I'm curious about the time frame. So yeah, around, you know, approximately 88 BC and then wars around 100 AD 
A Dacian kingdom of variable size existed between 82 BC until the Roman conquest in AD 106. And so speaking of Roman conquest, we will be visiting Roman ruins today, very much looking forward to them. That is different from the castle. So uh, taking a break here, just uh, filled up the gas tank. It was around five, six dollars uh, per gallon, about like a euro or a little more than a euro or something uh, per liter. The uh, gas was only half full when I got the car. So uh, going to uh, snack here a little bit, got some cheese, juice, kefir and yogurt stuff, milk, crackers, cookies. About 90 minutes now to the castle, looking forward to getting to it. Looks like this is the little town of Margina. And we have a very old looking, probably communist era factory on the left. This thing is sort of beautiful, ugly. So what was that thing? Just a bunch of bricks. And I guess a classic Romanian small town. Fast food. Looks like that is not actually open though. Is this even a town? It's kind of more like just a uh, roadside stop or something. Check the train tracks. Looks good. And I think that was Mardina. The Bega River. That is the same river that flows through Timisoara. Leaving Mardina. And the landscapes are getting more interesting. Not exactly mountains yet, but we got forests and hills. And I just saw the castle off to the right. Just wanted to show a little bit of the town here. Castellul Corvinelor. Driving in Romania is definitely interesting. A lot of uh, construction and... 600 meters. Your destination will be on the left. At least we're driving on the right side of the road. Okay, interesting parking. in just a second. Massive tower of some sort and nice butterfly and parker. Parking on the right. Castle on the left. Boom. Right there. Visitati Gradina Zoologica din Hinedora. So this is Hinedora, this town, 
I guess there's a zoo here as well. And there it is. So, Corvin Castle, also known as Hunyadi Castle or Hunadora Castle, is a Gothic Renaissance castle in Hunadora, Romania. It is one of the largest castles in Europe and is featured as one of the Seven Wonders of Romania. So I hadn't heard about the Seven Wonders of Romania before, so I'll have to check that out, see what the other ones are. Built in the 15th century. And it is quite spectacular. That is intense, amazing one. And I got some fresh raspberry juice. This should be good. Oh wow. That is really good. It's obviously watered down. It would probably be way too intense otherwise, but uh, it's nice and uh, cold and very, very refreshing. Here we go, into the castle, looking forward to it. That might be like John. John of Hunadora, 1440 to 1444. Okay, the dungeon. Man, it is like all musty smelling in here. And a guy being hanged. The Knights Hall. Built in the second stage of construction. I'm 
The Castle Kitchens. The chapel, 1446 to 1456. This is the church.
That was very interesting. So if you're wondering about the weather, today is August 4th. It is currently 91 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 33 degrees Celsius. It is hot. Now, I think that I will head for the Roman baths. They look very, very interesting. Let's see if we can do a little uh, drive through of the uh, center of town. Okay, only this far, but uh, let's take a look at the church. Looks very, very unique. It looks like this is the old town, basically, which is being renovated. I'm sure it will be very nice once uh, this is all finished. It's good to see that they are restoring their heritage. That is a really spectacular image there. Jesus, a king with a sword, a mosaic with Latin, in hoc signo vincis. Orthodox Cathedral, founded by the liberal deputy Constantine Bursan. Initiated in 1939 and finished in 1946. Okay, so it is a much more recent uh, building and a very strange cross, like four crosses coming together.
And look at this amazing communist era. Whatever it is. 1884 to 1974. So that's where I'm going, Sarmizagatusa Regia. You can see Bucharest 358 kilometers away. Not sure if I will be going there on this trip, might not. I need to return the car in Timisoara. I could return it in Shibiu, where I'm going tonight and which you will see in this video, but uh, 150 euro extra charge, so might just plan to catch a flight out of Timisoara and drive back there in a few days. Turn right. Looks like we have a wait for a train, perhaps. And here it comes, it's a short little one. Just two cars and the engine. So we have arrived at the Roman Baths and I guess there's a waterfall and some uh, traditional sounding music. And the Outlaws Grotto, whatever that is, haven't heard about that. Quite a happening scene here, more than I expected for being Roman ruins. I guess there's various things to see around here, the waterfall and the grotto. Maybe there's even more going on. Lots of people coming out from there in swimsuits. So. Maybe that's kind of the main thing that people are here for. Must be a swimming pool. Here we go. The baths and the grotto this way. Okay. Complex, touristic, Roman, What the heck is this? The Roman baths are that way. The grotto is up that way. This looks like it is a like swimming pool, but then associated with Roman ruins somehow. Is it like a swimming pool in an amphitheater? Or I think I can see something through. Uh... Yeah, there's a whole crazy pool scene over there that looks just horrible. <laughs> Tons of people. There you go. There's an old picture of it. Huh. All right, let's head this way. Here we go. I guess there's no fee. Yes, Germisara Roman Thermal Complex. All in Romanian. Canal, tunnel. So I saw an image of this that looked quite interesting. Let's see if it actually matches up with what I remember seeing more evidence of the Roman conquest they were everywhere yes so we have 
some really cool looking uh, walkway there and then here we go. Yeah, this is what I saw. That is pretty interesting. I guess that is the bath right there. Let's get down into it. All just carved straight into the rock. Wow, really interesting uh, entryway. Pretty wild. And a pomegranate lemonade. This sounds really good. Oh man, that is like the best thing ever. Especially right now on a hot day. Okay, so uh, looking for the grotto, assuming it isn't too far away. A very nice park here. Grotto, this way. Holding some grapes. Things are getting dark and muddy on the way to the grotto. So how far is this hike that I'm embarking on? At least I'm prepared with lemonade. So that is it. It's just a cave, basically. Oh, looks like this is it right here. Really pretty woods. Not clear if there's like more to see up there or what. And it gets very dark very fast. Doesn't look like it's going back all that far. Nothing to see anyway, so there you go. The Outlaw's Grotto. A good place to cook up some devious plans.